and you've been told in two or three days you'll be taking your driving test. In the meantime, uh, what do you do? You've learned how to drive, you've learned the theory, uh, you've learned the road signs for almost uh, three weeks or a month and you feel that you're very prepared uh, to take this exam. But come the examination day or come the test day, suddenly everything goes wrong. Everything you had learned just evaporates. And there are several uh, factors that can make you successfully do your test or fail your test. And in this uh, session or in this video, I'll be looking at some of the things that you can do to be able to pass your driving test, some of the things that can make you fail your driving test, and some of this, but you'll notice that some of these things are very, very obvious. Now, the other thing that I must mention, and which is very, very important, is that uh, we do not have a structured testing system. So, this will make you, or force someone, to be able at least to learn and know almost 95% of theory, road signs, and how to drive a car. The other important thing is that Kenya does test new drivers using manual cars. And there are some, of course, who are doing commercial uh, driving licenses who will, who will end up driving manual cars. So for them, uh, it is very appropriate to be tested on a manual car. But assuming you're driving a personal car, whether it's automatic or a manual car, you'll still take the test using a manual car. And that is the biggest challenge when it comes to taking the uh, test, the driving test in Kenya. And it is unpredictable. You do not know what question you're going to be asked. You do not know which things you're going to be asked. You do not know when you go to the road for the practicals if you'll be requested to reverse the car, drive the car forward, or do a three-point turn. So you must be able to know all these things. So I'll be taking you through what you can do to pass your exam or to pass your test successfully and what you must not do or what you should not do in order to enhance your, your, your chances of uh, passing your driving test. And I, and I hope some of these tips will be very helpful to you. Time, so uh, it's not an easy thing. It's very, very challenging. It will take you a whole day. You leave your house at five to be at the driving school by six a.m. so that you can all go together to the testing center. So one of the things that you must be able to address is uh, the fear that gets to you when you get to the examination or the testing center. Fear is very dangerous. Uh, you should always uh, avoid fearing the test. We know that every time we've, 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 we've gone through testing scenarios before and it's usually very nervous when you, when you know you're going to attempt a test. However, when it comes to driving school, which is a practical course, the worst thing that you can do is to have fear. The fear that you're going to fail, the fear that you're not going to do something right. So just avoid fear and be able to have confidence that you can be able to pass and believe in yourself. So cultivate a lot of confidence because with confidence, it means you have the courage to face this challenge and be able to do it uh, to, the, to, to the standard that you've been trained. So confidence is very, very important in this aspect as you take your examination. So you're determined to take the test, you're determined to pass, you're determined to get your driving license. So why should you let fear uh, control your actions for the day? So go there confidently, Go there without fear, knowing that whatever you'll be tested, you'll be able to do it and be able to pass your examination. So courage is very important. You're capable of doing this. So confidence determines your capability to be able to 
attempt a task and believe in yourself and you're going to pass. So the next point is prepare well. Prepare really well for your exam. Theory, learn the highway code. Road signs, master all of them, especially the most uh, the most important, which are the key road signs, and that would be like uh, give way, yield, roundabout ahead. All those signs are very very critical and they are very important. But like I've mentioned before, or earlier at the start of the video, you will not know your examiner will ask you to identify which signs. So prepare very well, uh, learn most of the things, and have the confidence to be able to answer the questions. When you dispel the fear away, everything or anything is possible. The next thing is when you come to the practicals. When you come to the practicals, we cannot overemphasize the importance to practice, practice, practice. We have seen that in our Kenya test system, they use a manual cars. And the other thing is that this manual cars, it is not the car that you are driving at your driving school. You'll go and get inside another car. You'll be told get inside this car so it is new to you. The only thing is that the concept is the same. The arrangement of the pedals is the same. The gear lever is the same. The arrangement of gears from number one to five is the same and the reverse gear. So it is just how you're going to be able to learn, I mean to be able to drive that car. Most important, the, one of the things that fail a lot of people is the inability to start the car and to move the car. Practice very, very, very much about number one. When you get into the car, how do you prepare yourself? After preparing yourself and your passenger, if your examiner is not having his safety belt on, just tell him to put it on, whether he wants or not, but make a point of telling him, sir, please have your, or madam, please have your safety belt, your safety belt on. So once you've prepared yourself, you're able, you've sat comfortably, you can hold the steering wheel and be able to see in front uh, properly, you're able to reach your pedals uh, properly, then, and you've also put your safety belt, then you can start the car. When you're starting the car, remember the steps to start a manual car. Number one, always make sure it's in free gear. Most people start the car when it is already in the gear and it will not start, it will just jump, it won't start. Uh, secondly, fear, dispel fear. So just start the car comfortably, take your time, don't rush. Even if the examiner rushes you, just take your time uh, to, to start the car. The other biggest mistake uh, when it comes to driving a manual car, do not let the examiner ask you to change the gear. You're taking off in gear number one for small cars or in gear number two for commercial cars. Don't stay in that gear until the examiner asks you to change the gear. In fact, you learn a lot of marks. If you start with gear number one and you're supposed to drive a few meters, then change into number two. You can stay in number two because most of the times they'll ask you to drive like two kilometers or three kilometers or even 500 meters. And if you do everything perfectly, that is a speed that will not even get you to gear number three. So it's very important. Master the manual car. If you're not confident, ask a friend who has a manual car for just two hours before the day of the test to be able uh, to practice. If you've ever noticed, all driving school cars have a set of pedals at the side of the, of the instructor. So, the moment he feels you're going to stall the car, he's able to control it so that the car does not stall. So most of the times you will not know whether you are in a situation that you could have stalled the car or not. On the testing day, my friend, you are on your own. You're, it's you and the examiner. The examiner expects you to drive the car 
how you are taught without any assistance. So it's it's very very important preparing for your test. So what is the aftermath? Congratulations. You have passed your driving test. Keep calm. Carry on driving because you will now keep on uh, driving. The other thing, now you have the freedom of the open road. A feeling of independence. And best of all, just hold on. Don't celebrate yet because things are now getting hot. Hotter than they were. So yeah, 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 you can celebrate. But let's see what is ahead. But congratulations. So this is the reality, my friend. Here's the reality. You remember the traffic rules? Yes. Now the traffic rules come from the Traffic Act. An act is a set of rules which is enacted by the parliament that must be followed. And if you go against those rules, either you'll be taken through a court, you'll be fined, or you'll even be jailed. So, my friend, you can be jailed for driving. Kill a person, that is straight, a jail term. Hit someone else's car for reckless driving, that's a, a, a traffic violation. Overtake on a yellow line, a traffic officer stops you and you're taking you're overtaking on a yellow line, that's a traffic offense. So that's number one. Number two, traffic madness. So Kenya is a country or let's say Nairobi is a jam city. So in every place you go, you'll always expect to find some sort of traffic jams. So because of this, a lot of motorists, a lot of drivers are uh, so much under stress because you're not getting where you want on time you are always in a hurry and that's why you see people having silly accidents because i don't want to give you way to cut me in so please just be aware that there's traffic madness in nairobi if you'll be driving in nairobi and the motorists are stressed so expect some uh, road rage at some point the as you're starting to learn the car, you'll find a lot of these challenges. Number one, because your L, you've already thrown it away. So nobody knows that you, 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 you're a learner. And they'll treat you the same as any other motorist. So expect road, road rage, and this depends how you control yourself. Finally, you can die, and you can kill others. Road safety. Practice road safety. To become a careful driver a good driver and also you're supposed to be an ambassador of red road safety do not violate traffic rules do not participate in road rage respect the other road users because their life matters and your life also matters so we protect each other so you have failed it's not the end of the world. You learned your mistake. It is time to go and improve on that mistake so that when you're retaking your exam, you already know how not to repeat that mistake again and also improve on other areas that uh, you are not very comfortable with during your examination. So one of the Englishmen, very famous Englishman, said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So you must always have that courage. So failing is not fatal. It is not the end of the world. So just go back again, practice what you did not do your best, and then you'll be able to pass your exam in the second attempt. So do not uh, lose hope, do not give up, just simply because you failed. One more last tip. And this goes back to the point of having fear. Just note, the NTSA examiners or the traffic police examiners are human beings just like, like you. You should not fear him. He's a human being. He's a person just like you. And he's there to guide you, not to test 
and uh, make you fail. No, he's not supposed to make you fail. In fact, most of them are very good and they will tell you, this is where you've done a mistake, I'm giving you another chance. However, there are people who you might find an examiner and that day his mood is totally off. So just try to be as calm as possible, take your time and be reasonable. Try to reason, try, try to reason with them, engage with them, have a conversation with them. They are our parents also, they are our brothers and they are our sisters. Why, why, why will they not be able to listen to you if you, if, 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 if you approach them in, in a positive way? So do not fear them. They are human beings like you. And you'll be able to do what? You'll be able to pass your driving test uh, very easily and very comfortably. So for now, those are the tips I have. I wish you the best as you take your driving test and become a safe driver. Once you get your driving license, become a safe driver to protect your life and to protect other people's lives. Thank you very much.